<coughs> Let's read this, guys. It says, so from the updates I'd seen, babysitter was called off at 5.30 a.m., which was extremely odd for the babysitter. 30 minutes prior to the last sighting, babysitter advised mother should be investigated. I agree. The mother should be 100% investigated, and so should the boyfriend. They're the number one and number two suspect. Uh, grandfather is a huge advocate and cheerleader for, for mom through the years. He is calling BS on her story and has insisted she should be looking into, into it further. The grandmother has had custody of two of the boys since Quentin was five months old. A couple of weeks ago, grandmother went through the courts and served... Uh, I'm not going to script the name, so I'll just pass it. And the her, the daughter and the boyfriend with an eviction notice due to the const, constant fighting. Like, there's a video out, guys, of you can hear these people. Like, somebody from the, like, a neighbor went outside and videoed these people fighting in the house. And you could literally hear them outside. Uh, this was a couple days ago. Uh, grandmother... Excuse me. Grandmother went on a short-term work trip and left Quentin with the mother. Investigations Investigation has shifted and no longer believed the baby uh, wandered off. Trash day was yesterday, day of disappearance. FBI is searching dump to find evidence as well as the entire area of the home and neighboring homes. Literally, this kid... Went missing on the day the trash ran. And they did not call in to uh, the police department until after the trash truck had already come and took the trash. Then they called in and reported the baby missing at 6 o'clock that morning. So three and a half hours later. They called in at like 930 so three and a half hours later, they call the cops after the trash truck ran. Kind of, this, we all know what happened. We don't want to. We hope that didn't happen, but we know what happened. 